Oh, welcome to my channel, I'm back on Operation 1. Today we're playing something different on the channel. Um, yeah, this game is cheap, so I bought it. So I'll try it out. It's called Car Mechanic Simulator 214. Complete edition. So yeah. What can I say? It's a car mechanic game. <laughs> Simulator game. So yeah, before we get into it, remember, smash the like button. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more. So let's begin. I haven't played in this at all. This I've just literally loaded up first time and I thought I'll record it for you guys. Okay, just to prove, not played it yet. So let's get into it. Let's let's do career so we can learn about the game and go from there. Now I do have a bit of sore throat today, so you know, do apologise if I'm drinking a lot. So tutorial says welcome to the Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. In this tutorial we'll learn the basics of the gameplay. You're in your first garage. It is the most basic garage in the game, but if your career progresses, you will unlock more professional garages with diagnostic pass and chip tuning. Let's start from the basics. Walk to the radio in the opposite corner of the garage and turn it on. Yep, I suppose that is the basics. I have worked in the garage before, so yep, radio on is the first thing you do. Use the WASD keys to walk around the garage. While near the radio, use it by clicking the left mouse key on left mouse key on the icon. Right, so radio. Holy shit! This yeah. turn my DPI down a bit because that's that is really sensitive. So yeah. So this is our first garage. Let's have a little walk around. Yeah, I've got to turn the sensitivity down. That is uh, there. So not on options. Or have I got to go back to thing? Oh, well, we're just going to get used to it, I suppose, isn't I? So yeah, that is really sensitive. So when you are close enough to form an action in the game, an icon with a description will appear, just like that. Then you can press the action key to use it. Let's try to operate the car lifter. Go to the car lifter panel and switch it to the upper position. I hope you guys can hear me because it sounds quite loud on my headphones. So I hope it's not too loud for you guys and you can still hear my voice over it. If not, please leave a comment down below so I can sort it out. Um, the car lifter will enable you to examine the car from below. So. Uh, car lifter, so we have to go over here. Oh my god, this is sensitive. Alright, this concludes our first basic tutorial. You know how to move around the garage and how to interact with the equipment. It's time to start your job. I think I've just seen the menu button, so I'm going to have a little press on that one in a second. Now, I've never played one of these car simulators. Never. I know this is quite an old one, but still, got to start somewhere. Your first customer has arrived. The job description and goals are listed in the repair order. You can always return from, return here from quick menu under right mouse button. That's the menu I found. After completing all tasks, you can finish the job by stamping the form. So, we need. To, so, what needs to be done? You need to replace front brake pad and check front brake disc. Okay, fair enough. So, you have to replace brake pads, go to the PC and buy four new brake pads from the car parts shop. Okay, can I turn sensitivity down here? Hide show, no, 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 no. Okay, so it looks like I have to do it from the main menu. So, car parts shop. So we're going to need, what did I say we needed? Brake pads, wasn't there? Uh, brake pads. Are you sure you want to buy it? Yes. We need four of them. Two, three, four. 
Go to the first wheel to start assembling. Remove wheel by unscrewing the bolts. To remove brake calipers, to get access to the brake pads. As simple as that. If you work on the car, and that is as simple as that. Um, as you go back, ah, just like that. There you go. Right. Ah, oh, this sensitivity. You can perform three main actions in the mechanic mode: assembling parts, assembling parts, examining parts conditions. Icons in the top right corner of the screen show which action is active. To switch between actions, open quick menu by clicking right mouse button and choose another one. Oh, I do apologise. Let's stay in the disassemble mode. We have to take out old brake pads, start by unbolting the wheel and the brake caliper and then remove the old pads. Simple enough, if it wasn't so sensitive. Right, hang on. Um, oh shit. Yeah, we want that one. <laughs> Simple as that. Alright, so that's the wheel gone. Now we've got to remove the brake calibers. To get to the brake pads. Now we want the brake pad. Great, you disassembled the old brake pads on one side. It's time to assemble new ones. Switch to the assemble mode and mount the new pads. Right, um. So we need to get in the other side. One more thing, remember that the customer asks you to check his brake discs. Switch to the examine mode and select the brake disc to examine it. If you know the condition of the parts, you can pair it where on them. Not every part can be examined by hand. Some need to be examined in other ways, like OBD scanner, test drive, or diagnostic path. I would just wish it wasn't so bloody sensitive. Right, so we need to go to examine part. Right, so the brake discs are 62. Oh shit, no, I'm gonna assemble. We're going to do this to all of them in a the week. Oh my god, the sensitivity. This is unreal. Oh, hang on. We've got a thing here, haven't we? That's what we've got to do, isn't it? I've got to check. Check the brake discs. Congratulations, you've heard your first car. There are many more to come. If you want to finish the current job, open all the form from quick menu and stamp the sheet. Proceed to the next order. So that was pretty simple. Pretty simple indeed. I shall have a quick sip of me drink there. So 
So, we need to now replace air filter, replace oil filter, and replace fuel filter. Pretty simple. <sighs> Mate, this is pretty annoying. So, what do we need to do? Oil, air, and replace air filter, oil filter, and fuel filter. So, move it here. So, we need to replace air filter. Um... Oil filter and fuel filter. Fuel filter and oil filter around there. Oh, I might be blind. Oil, oil filter. There. Okay, so. Oh, hang on. Technical issue. My game's just minimized. Do apologize for that. Right, guys and girls, I'm back. Sorry about that technical issue. So yes, so let's go back off of that. Right. So we're doing the air filter. Now, um, yeah, we want to disassemble, don't we? Take the hose off. Not so. Pretty, pretty simple. There's the filter. So we'll remove that. New air filter in. Box on, bolts up, meter on, and hose on. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Right, so now we need to put the new one in. And the cap on. That's the oil filter and the air filter done now. Now we need to do the fuel filter. Always got to fill out the oil, of course, but never mind. Keep an, keep an oil, keep an oil between max and min marks. New oil is golden colour while old one is black. So, right, oil changed. Yeah, need to back out of that in a minute. Right, so we've done the air filter and the oil filter. Now we've got to do the fuel filter. Should be simple enough. And it's sat there on the tank. I hate sensitivity. Um, okay. Just like that. No, didn't mean to do that at all. It'll come off that. So at the new fuel filter. And we now should be done. So let's just double check. So we've changed the air filter. We've changed the fuel filter and put new oil in it. And check the oil level. And we've also done the fuel filter. So let's just make sure that it is all done. It's 
Place air filter, place oil filter, place fuel filter. So yeah, we've done all that. Car is incomplete, cannot form his action. Alright, how is it incomplete? Fuel filter. So keeping the oil between that. So yeah, we've got oil in it. Everything is back on. That's all done. Caps on, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So, what is the problem? What am I missing then? Oh shit. Gotta do sank base. Fuel filter on. That is done, done, done. Right, I am lost. Now just fill the room with car with it. As far as I know, we're all done. This is incomplete. Seriously, what am I missing? Change the filters out, change the oil. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure on that one. But unfortunately, that is going to be the end of this episode, so you're going to have to find out in the next episode. Remember, I hope you've enjoyed. I know it's been a bit, a bit screwy with the sensitivity, and we had a technical issue and now I ain't got a fucking clue why it's saying you're not complete but yeah so until next time guys and gals have fun keep gaming and I'll see you then bye